In every struggle, there is a pay for those that never give up. The journey of education is not for the faint-hearted, but for the radical in the spirit for excellence. It is believed that when you educate a girl, you level the playing field and help the girls to make wiser choices for their future. The society becomes healthier, early marriage is reduced, and harmful cultural practices eradicated. Welcome to Bongo Girls Secondary School, the home of girl child education. Bongo Girls is a young and aggressive school in academics, ball games, and matters infrastructure development. The school is located in the remote part of Ndewa Sub County, in Homer Bay County, yet compete favorably with the giant schools in Kenya. This is due to the hard work of the school principal, Madam Helen Opio, and the quality and energetic teachers with the dedication of the students who are ready and willing to learn, unlearn, and relearn concepts that pertains education. The good results are also achieved by the unwavering support of the parents, not forgetting the high commitment of the BOM members to ensure that the school motto, which is my education, my power, is achieved. And the vision of providing empowered individuals capable of giving back to the society. When you educate a girl, you educate the whole world. And it is said, seeing is believing. And this is the story of Bong Girls Secondary School. Brought to you by Grand Max Studio. And I am director Wiki Omolo. Grab a chair. Take a look, relax, and enjoy the horse's mouth. Welcome. Hello, guys. This is uh, Mr. Henry Uching, uh, and uh, the compound behind me here. This is Bongo Girls Secondary School, uh, a girls' school in Kanyadoto Ward in Ndewa Sub County. Uh, this is a school that was started in the year 2013. Uh, to date, it's 11 years old. And uh, join me, I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you the facilities that we have here and also a brief history of our school. So, this is uh, one of the facilities we have in the school. This is our water borehole, one of uh, the water sources that we have though it's not enough for the school but uh, it serves the purpose it helps the girls normally during the rainy seasons but then when there are no rains we do get some water from outside sources so this is the first facility we have here just next to our gate here Two girls one of the upcoming schools in Dewa it's a uh, considered to be a small school. Yes, if you look at the structures, it's still small, but then slowly it's becoming a giant in this and their area. And as you can see, I'm going to take you through. And of course, you shall even see, even our performance, the result can indicate that it's slowly becoming a giant in their sub-county. Yeah, so you can just also show them the page that we have that is our page that we do use in our trainings football training netball training and handball training yeah that other side that you're seeing that's the primary section uh, you see bongo we get, got the land from the primary section 
And so those are, those are our sister schools, they are there. And we are sharing the pitch, as you can see, that is a pitch that is shared by the primary and the secondary section. We call it an ultra-modern administration block that has just been constructed. It's roughly 80% complete, not yet completed. So we are thinking of completing it in the next one month so that the teachers can now move in. And as you can see, this is one of the reasons that, as to why I was saying that Bongo is slowly becoming a giant in the OA. This is one of the administration blocks. If you move around in the OA sub-county, it may not be very easy for you to find such a, like an administration block in these schools around. As this is our old administration block. Uh, as you can see, it was just a counter room. And now it is from this block that we are now moving to the new uh, administration block that we have. And uh, just to confirm to you that we have a very small compound just next to it, uh, the blue roofed room, that is our laboratory, fully equipped. Then next to the laboratory is our tuition block now, with the classes, uh, with the classes. Yes, that's the laboratory. That's our laboratory and next to it we have got our water tank. And then just next to it we have got the tuition block. And that confirms to you that we have a, a small compound by just the distance you can see from the tuition block to the laboratory. It can confirm to you that we do have a small ground. But as I said, it's an upcoming school and we believe it's going to be a giant in the OA as I had said earlier. It used to be our assembly ground. And as you can see, part of it has been taken by the new administration block. So this was our assembly ground, that is our flag post there, still showing you part of the tuition block that is comprising of forms one up to form four. Now this right here is what we call a career guidance wheel. It is what guides our students. With this career wheel, the students can easily uh, tell or can easily find out what they are going to do after their four-year course in high school. Right at the center, we have mathematics, telling you how important maths is, and I believe our students also know that. Then next to it, we have the languages, English and Kiswahili being the core uh, of the subjects that we are doing here, and then the rest are now distributed and therefore, the learners can now use it in knowing what they are going to do after the high school. Just in front of me, this is an extension of our tuition block. Uh, you see Bongu is a two-streamed school, though just recently it had been upgraded to a three-streamed school, uh, but for the moment it is two streams, and this is part of our tuition block giving us the form two, that is the form two yellow and the form two green. Oh, next to us here, this is our ultra-modern latrines for the girls. Eh? It was just recently launched by our BOM chairperson. It is $8 latrine, helping our girls. Of course, you know how important such like a facility is in such like an institution. Next facility here, the next building we have here is our dormitory that is helping our girls. And as you can see, it's more of divided into two parts. We have the lower part being the very first dormitory that was constructed in this school, launched in 2019. And as you can see, the name Helen Opiodum, that is the very uh, first principal of the school and also the current principal of the school. She's the one who initiated this project together with the, the Ministry of Education. Then later, that is after some three years, we managed to get the next dome that because of the small compound we have, you can see it is just attached to the very first one that we had. So that up there gives us the second dome that was just opened last year, that is 2023. The next building we have here, this is a, a makeshift dome, uh, just a temporary one that we constructed recently. 
to help us in easing the congestion that is there in our current dormitories. You see, this came as a result of the large numbers that we have currently. The numbers are over congested in the other rooms and so this will help us for some few days before we actually get one, which is a permanent one, just like the other two that we already have. And then just next to the other building, the other dormitory we have, is a mabati structure there that we have that is helping the girls as their bathroom. Uh, that is what they use uh, as their bathroom. It's a compound that overlaps from uh, the kitchen compound and the dormitory compound. But then now from here, this is our agricultural farm. It starts from this end, extending upwards. And as you can see, we have got some vegetables planted here. Uh, they're the traditional vegetables. We have got the kills. We all know how important food is in man's life. Therefore, these are some of the things that help us in surviving around here. The next to it is our banana plantation. That's very healthy for uh, pudding for both the girls and the teachers, that is the staff. And just next to it is our agricultural farm. So if you can see the extension, that is the agricultural farm with some dry maize leaves there that can tell you what has been happening in such areas. Yeah, uh, this ground here is an overlapping ground from the building that I sh had shown you earlier, the Form 2 classes buildings. So in this ground, you can see clearly, we have got the hanging lines for the girls. Once they wash their clothes, they can hang their clothes. Part of these are their hanging lines. And then again, at the background, you can clearly see we have got some anim animals. We have got a bull here. We have got some donkeys. Those are our animals in the school compound. And uh, of course, as we all know, the donkeys also do help us in the transportation especially when we are going to the potion mill or for some water if it's dry seasons then we use the donkey for that, uh, such purposes hello guys i'm henry Ching. hello a teacher of uh, mathematics and business studies uh, in bongo girls um, the one in charge of uh, quality assurance in the school and also I'm serving as the second deputy principal. Uh, in Bongo we are blessed to have a total of uh, 16 teachers and uh, one by one they are going to introduce themselves as follows. Oh, hello our esteemed viewers. Oh, in front of you is uh, Henry Obonyo Yo, oh, the first deputy principal of Bongo Girls or high school. I'm also a class teacher from 3 or yellow. Or this is my sixth year in Bongo Girls Secondary School serving as the deputy principal and uh, I'm happy today uh, to actually uh, see uh, the development in, in uh, terms of infrastructure in our school. Uh, the school started when we had very few uh, infrastructure and uh, today uh, you can see uh, we have a very beautiful administration block uh, among other things that have developed in, in the school. Uh, our school also started with a very few uh, students. Uh, actually there were just six students and today we talk of, of 450 uh, students and I'm therefore appealing uh, to or parents and also stakeholders would wish or to bring their students to Bongo Girls High School or feel most welcome because this is a school of choice. We've, we have also or achieved some milestone in our academics and actually or last year or our school managed or a mean of a 6.1 and we also produced or 19 girls who are going or to the university. Going forward or given that uh, we have very uh, committed uh, teachers, uh, we hope that come this year uh, we are going to produce uh, more than 19 girls who are going to the university. Thank you for your time. Hello everyone, 
Uh, before you speaking is Professor Umondi, a teacher at Bongo Girls Secondary School. Uh, I teach geography and business studies. Uh, you are welcome at Bongo Secondary School. Come and join us. Bring us children. Uh, we have fun together with them. We teach them uh, so that they succeed in life. Hello everyone. My name is Henry Ayotedi, a teacher at Bongo High School. I'm teaching chemistry and geography. You are welcome. Thank you. Hello viewers. I'm Jessa Sokeo, a teacher at Bongo Girls Secondary School. I do teach biology and agriculture. Feel most welcome. Hi viewers. I hope this finds you well. I'm Sophie Akin uh, class teacher from One Green, also in charge of boarding and entertainment. I teach English language and literature. And in Bongo Girls, we believe in helping the girls grow and to build a better future. Thank you and welcome back to Bongo Girls. This is Otieno Brian, Bongo Girls High School. I teach mathematics and chemistry. Bongo Girls, the ocean of chemistry. Welcome. Hello viewers, I am uh, Kenneth Otieno Opeo, a teacher at Bongo Girls. I teach mathematics and physics and also the teacher in charge of environment. Feel most welcome at Bongo Girls. Hello viewers, uh, before you is Odek uh, Isro uh, I teach at Bongo Girls Secondary School in Ndewa. Uh, I teach uh, history and government and Christian religious education. Apart from teaching, I have other responsibilities. I am the HOD Humanities in the school and also a class teacher from Two Green. Feel most welcome at Bongo Girls. I'm Jambo Wanainchi. Jina langu ni Freda Abuga. Ni mwalimu wa Kiswahili. Nasoma la Kidini. Nafunza shule ya wasichana ya Bongo. Nao patikana katika gatuzi ndogo la Ndewa na wakaribisha nyote kwa maana hii shule yetu tunajenga wasichana watakao kuwa wa maana hapo mbeleni kwa kuwa lugha ndio msingi na msingi unaanza na lugha na maisha ndio lugha kwa hivyo tunajenga wanafunzi wetu wawe watu wa maana wa kujitegemea maishani mwao hapo baadaye kupitia hii lugha ya Kiswahili na pia kupitia dini asanteni sana na leta wanafunzi kwa wingi tuwaelimishe pia tuwatayarishe wakue watu wa maana katika mambo ya Mungu na katika lugha asanteni this is mr juma morris a teacher at bongo girls high school i teach business studies history and government also i hold the office of director of studies at the same time i'm the class teacher form 3g form 3 green that is uh, in bongo girls uh, we believe in academics and sports i thank you Hi everyone, I'm Masuke Nicole at Show of English and Literature. Welcome to Bongo Girls, where we train our students to be fluent and proficient in English language. Hello viewers, before you is Boa Somboya, a teacher at Bongo Girls, teaching mathematics and physics. Welcome to Bongo Girls. Hi, my name is Asha Otieno, a teacher of Kiswahili and Geography. Welcome to Bongo Girls. My name is Helen uh, Woropia. I am uh, a teacher at Bongo Girls High School, uh, teaching Kiswahili and history. And at the same time, I'm also the principal of the school. Uh, Bongo Girls is found in Homer Bay County. Uh, they were sub county in Nyarongi division, and also it is within Buku zone. Now, uh, the school was started in 2013. I reported in this institution as a principal in the month of November. 
when the school was just one week away from closing for the end year. And that is for the December holidays. When I reported, I found six students who were admitted in Form 1 that year. And uh, during my reporting, uh, history has it that uh, some three more girls were borrowed from the primary section to come and add to our the school six to at least ha make the school have some good number of students. I'm told also that was done to at least uh, impress the incoming principal that the school is not empty, the school has got students. So I found uh, the six girls plus the three borrowed from the primary given the secondary uniform so the number became nine and we moved on like that we closed the school the following year um, we opened the school and we get, we took new form ones uh, i admitted 40 form ones and only 18 reported and we started like that our life and the journey of Bongo Girls Secondary School started that way. I found two teachers who were employed on the BOM and they were from four leavers because the school did not have any TSC teacher. The school was managed from the primary uh, section. So the primary head teacher, uh, the late uh, Madam uh, Mrs. Ojuang Grace was the person who was in charge and is the one that I took over the school from. I found they had a struggle to make sure that the school has some structures. So I found one complete classroom and two in complete ones and also they had 15 wooden desks to start off the lessons so as time went by the year 2016 the girls did their first KCC exam there were 15 girls at that moment, they did their best because, as you know, and as I had said, they had to struggle their way through because we never had enough teaching staff, we never had enough books. All of us are aware of what it means to start a school. So, my 15 girls did the exam and the mean score was 1.8 in 2016. So life went on. The number also increased from 6 to the 18 that were admitted. That is now 24 in 2014. And it went on like that uh, until we arrived at 120 students in 20, uh, 2017 and then 2018 the number increased again because in 2018 the results was better 2017 and 2018 the result became better and better as we moved on and the number also kept on improving up to this moment we are proudly reporting that the number has hit 450 in 2024 and we thank God because that is by the grace of God. Now I have touched on the mean grade. It has been very low from the start 
But I want to thank God it has moved on bit by bit from the mean of 1.8 to the mean of 2.4 to the mean of 3.5 to the mean of 4.5 then we went to 5 then 6 and last year we had a mean grade of 6.03 and we were we managed to take 19 girls to the university and that one was record breaking in the history of the school because the previous year we had 13 that went to the public university. I had mentioned about infrastructure and I want to proudly report that we are a happy school owing to where we have come from. Right now, we can mention that we have a permanent laboratory constructed by the Constituency Development Fund under uh, our stewardship of Honorable Martin Peter Sowino. Uh, we are very proud of him. He's a very hardworking area MP and is uh, always a very close stakeholder of this school. Uh, we also have seven permanent classrooms constructed up to this point. From our one, from 2013, we have moved a long way to have seven permanent classrooms. Fortunately, I wish to report that the school got its registration as a girls boarding school in 2018. When the community managed to construct one permanent dormitory that could contain uh, 150 girls. We moved up and down to make sure that the school was registered as a boarding school. And we have that. And I can proudly also report that we now have a twin dormitory. We had to expand and construct a new dormitory because the number of boarders now came. Uh, got swollen and therefore we had to make sure that we accommodate all of them and right now uh, Our school is a full girls boarding school and Recently in the past few months because of the swollen number that I have just mentioned the school got registered as a full girls pre streamed boarding school that is the stature of a county school. So therefore, our school has moved a long way from the sub-county school to a county stature where we have three streams because of the number of the girls who have come uh, to join this institution. We are very proud about that. And remember, it is not only about the results that they are coming uh, to enjoy because they know uh, we normally do well. That, is what, that one goes without much ado. We are always doing very well in our KCSE and the whole county is aware and the whole sub-county is aware that we are very, a very competitive school and we compete favorably with the senior schools that we have around here. What we have on the ground here is the, a very special administrative structure that I don't think is found in any other school around here. I don't know, but I don't I think there is none. The school is not only about the principal. Our school as Bongo High School, right now it's a high school owing the registration. It's not about the principal. It's about a, a management team that has been formed here that carries out their duties diligently. We have divided work among ourselves. All our departments are up and running and their leadership are fully uh, uh, mandated to carry out their duty. We have given them all the powers and the resources to do that which is supposed to be done in those departments. We are highly, a highly motivated staff 
I, as the principal, I am very keen at that to make sure that I have a staff that is highly motivated. I normally take them out to refresh whenever they are tired after long and tedious work, like after an examination. They have marked, they have prepared the result for the students. And even if it is about closing for mid-term break or for end term, I normally take my staff out to go and relax. We have visited very big hotels out here that I don't think many schools have done that, even the senior schools that are within this region. We have visited hotels like Barracuda uh, in Cochia, in Homa Bay County. They go there, they swim, have good meals, they chat and they come back to school. We have visited also the Grace Resort, also uh, around Rodi Copan. We have visited the Blue Ridge in Beta and several other places. The other time they also visited the Sunset Hotel uh, in Kisumu. So we take, occasionally we take the, the whole staff, but regularly I take the senior management team. That is a group of five who are helping me uh, to manage the systems of the school. People know that structure, the parents are aware and it is known all over. That is what gives us a uniqueness, the uniqueness of our school. On uh, curricula, I also want to say that we have been very competitive, we compete very well with the other schools uh, that we normally meet. We participate in almost uh, uh, all activities. We do sports, uh, uh, ball games, we do athletics, and we also involve ourselves in the Science Congress. We also compete with others. So therefore, all the academics as well as the co-curriculum, all of them are upheld here. And we also take good care of our students. We love our girls so much. That is why in our school, we have divided all the girls among members of staff who are available to take care of them. And therefore, we say those are the families. Each teaching staff here has got the members of his family. So is the parent, if it is a lady, that is the mother of the family. If it is a male teacher, that is the father of the family. We have a lot of attractions that uh, has enabled the school to grow up to the level in which it is, where we have a population of 450 girls. We have a senior management team that is composed of five. Uh, we have two deputies, uh, the quality assurance officer, we also have the examination officer plus the, all, all the other departments running on their own and doing their duties as have been divided. And I have very responsible staff, especially my two deputies, uh, Mr. Henry uh, Uyo and Mr. Henry Uchieng are very wonderful teachers. I have never met wonderful young men like the two very responsible. I also have uh, staff, most of them are young and active, very aggressive and very responsible uh, ladies and gentlemen. So again, I was talking about uh, us having families where we have divided all the girls amongst us and each member of staff has got children. The students who have been assigned to us are our children and we talk to them, we nurture them uh, on their school life, academic, social life, even outside school, how to relate even uh, amongst them when they are in school here. And whenever they have any challenge, we come in just like the parents could. Uh, also come in, whether if we, even if it's financial assistance, we give to our level that we can manage to make sure that our families do not lag behind. At the same time, in those families, they also compete. 
they compete, the families compete with one another. For instance, uh, like my last year KCSE when the exams are done, we also we always check which family has done well, we, whose family has the highest mean score. It makes us really be very happy and enjoy having that kind of arrangement and all the girls are very happy. I'm telling you, this is one school where we have very happy students, very disciplined and neat, very smart girls. And all of them are very responsible. Now, um, I know school doesn't have all the good things. We also have the challenges with us in as much as we are making steps, we also have challenges that are there. Uh, uh, maybe before I come to that, I just want to mention a few other developments that uh, we have, other than the ones I have explained. Uh, we have, uh, we recently built for our girls a 14 door permanent latrine, and I think it is one of the very best that are there. Maybe, if not, if not the whole Kenya, but maybe it's the whole Homo Bay County. And the whole Dewa Sub County, I don't think uh, it is, there is any that surpasses that one. It's very neat, nice, permanent, modern toilet that was recently opened by our BOM chairman, uh, Mr. Bernard Ojieng. Other than that, we are proud to report that we also have our CCTV that is all over the compound to manage security around, coupled with the Wi-Fi. We also have very modern security uh, firm that is taking charge for us during the night and also during uh, the day. Uh, our staff also enjoy uh, watching the television in school and also they listen to music as well as the students. That one keeps the teachers around. You will always find my members of staff in this school. Even as late as 10, they are always here because I have provided all that they may need. Like we also have their meal program that is perfect, is among the very best in the whole Kenya, the whole Homer Bay County, the whole Ndewa Sub County. I don't know what happens elsewhere, but I'm proud of what we have. So I keep on thinking that that is what we, that is the very best of the best. We take care of the teachers' uh, uh, breakfast when they arrive very early in the morning. We also have the 10 o'clock tea. We also have very good lunch program that is never, ever going back. It's always planned and funded to make sure that the teachers are well fed and can take care of the girls very well. After good lunch, before they know it, just touching around four, we have our very nice porridge on the table, very hot one, so that they enjoy soon after games they find something to relax around with and then before they know it supper arrives by exactly seven because they, most of them stay alone and i don't want them to struggle in going to the market to go and shop for food come back light fire cook for themselves wash plates and do all sorts of things that one will make the teachers have a divided mind and because this is a young school that is struggling to become a senior school, we want to put all our energies into it to see that the school has stood. That is why we have devised methods of keeping the staff around. And they are really very much around from six to 10 in the evening, preparing their, their notes, preparing for the lessons, marking the, the students' work, marking exam, and any other work that they may have. This one also gives the busy time uh, in 
uh, making sure that their work is perfectly done. Other than that, we also want to report that our school is a blessed school. We received five new laptops from South Korean governments through Semaster. That's what I think very few schools have. We were invited to go and receive them in Nairobi, and it was only two schools in Homer Bay County, Oredo Boys and Bongo Girls High School. Only the two. So you can see how our school is, as much as it's a small school, it is really known because of the things that we have been doing uh, in this environment. So to mention a few challenges that we also have, we also have a few areas that are, we are still struggling with that we want to perfect. We are crying for permanent source of water. What we have on the ground are survival sources. We have water tanks of about 25,000 liters, but they're not enough. We also have uh, uh, water aid. We are given uh, uh, water from uh, a well wisher. That is engineer Maurice Sorende. We are so proud of him. We thank God for him. He has been so much to our assistance. Uh, that is a wonderful man. He's a very wonderful member of the community. We pray for him that God may bless him uh, more and more. He is doing his best to make sure that we have tap water from his home all the way uh, to our school and uh, we are hope hopeful that uh, uh, the water will continue being there for us on and on. Uh, we also want to thank God for our uh, children orphanage that we have. It's called the Luala Children Children's Home. They have been to our assistance, especially when the school started. We really got a lot of support by supplying us with water from their end uh, until when now the water was not sufficient enough to also uh, give part of it to the school that is when they stopped but otherwise we cannot forget the fact that they did their best to us under the leadership of uh, the orphanage director called Mr. Shadrach. We are very grateful to what they have been doing to us. But all in all, those are not sufficient sources of water. They are not sufficient enough for us and we are crying and we are doing all that we can to make sure that we have enough water. Uh, we are also crying that because of this population, we are highly in need of transport system. We need a school bus where the girls can uh, board whenever they are going for sports or any outing. We are really looking for means of transport. Uh, at the same time, because of the population, we really uh, want to have uh, staff quarters where the teachers can have their houses to stay uh, within the compound. We are also crying for the school library which is not yet with us. We are only using uh, some rooms to uh, for our bookstores but we don't have sufficient area where the girls can settle and read. We don't have a modern uh, kitchen and a modern uh, dining hall uh, for our meal preparations. We are also appealing to our parents, we have a challenge of poor fee payment. Poor fee payment, we are appealing to our parents to step up their payments of fees so that the girls are not in any way leaving the compound to go and remind the parents about the, uh, uh, about the, the, the remaining fee balances. It is disrupting our lessons, it is disrupting, disrupting the learning of the students. So therefore we are appealing to the parents to ensure that they accomplish their obligations in good time. We, are, we also have an upcoming uh, construction of a uh, very magnificent uh, modern administration block that is very wonderful and wonderfully 
uh, built by engineer uh, Makabuto uh, Makabuto under the company known as uh, Makabuto Design uh, Solutions. So the building is upcoming and it is wonderfully done and it is almost uh, nearing completion. This episode has come at a time when the school has made tremendous improvements in terms of discipline, academics, and infrastructure developments. I wish to happily report that the school did its first KCSE exam in 2016. And since then, the school has been posting positive improvements in KCSE performance. In KCSE performance. In the last year's KCSE, the school attained a mean grade of 6.037, with 19 girls joining public universities up from the previous year's 13. This year, the school is keenly targeting a mean grade of 7.00 and above. I wish to sincerely thank the entire Bongo Girls fraternity for their unwavering support, creating an enab enabling environment for the development of this institution. This includes our Ministry of Education officers and TSC, from the national body to our sub-county offices led by Mr. David Ayeta, the Board of Management BOM, under the ABLE Chairmanship of Mr. Bernard Chieng, the PA, teachers, support staff, and the students, who have worked hard to give the school a vision and a sense of this desired direction uh, towards achieving the Bongo girls we want, which has given us a, st a sprinting board to a continued academic excellence so far witnessed. It is important to note that within the few years the school has been in existence, it has come a long way and can now compete favorably with the most senior schools uh, in the region. I am proud and also glad to report that during the short period, a number of projects and improvements have been undertaken in the school as listed below. Uh, one school now officially registered as a three-streamed full body girls school, two, seven permanent classrooms. We have three, a water borehole to supplement our source of water, four, science laboratory built by the CDF, five, a twin dormitory of 200 capacity supported by the Ministry of, uh, uh, Ministry of Education Infrastructure Fund and the parents. Six, we have 14 door, 14 door permanent and tiled modern students' toilets and another two door for staff. Seven, increased population from six students to 450. Eight, the modern eye-catching permanent school administration block. Nine, the school CCTV system and Wi-Fi for improved school uh, security. And ten, we have uh, nowadays hired modern security uh, guards from Okuna Security Farm. Eleven, the school's 42-inch television and music system. And twelve, five school laptops donated by the South Korean government through Semastea and among uh, many others. Following the above list, I am proud to report that we are what we are today due to the history of continuous strict observation of our three pillars of the school, which are one, discipline, two, academic excellence, and three, smartness, that is in bracket DAS. It is important uh, to note that the above three are not easy to come by. They require a concerted effort uh, by all the parties involved to ensure that our vision uh, of the school of producing empowered girls capable of giving back to the society is met. To our students, as you always know, you are the darlings of my heart. Your level of discipline and smartness is quite amazing and compared to none. May you cling on the two always, for they have been and will continue to be the 
cornerstones of our continued academic excellence. Thank you. Uh, in Bongo Girls, other than having a great interest in uh, academics, we are also actively involved in games, as uh, we are also interested in nurturing the talents of these girls. Uh, currently, we participate in football, volleyball, netball, handball, and even athletics. And as of now, we are the reigning champions in the uh, central zone. We are the champions in girls soccer, and we also always represent our sub-county, I mean our zone in the sub-county competitions uh, for both volleyball and netball. Otherwise, thank you. That is what we have for games. My name is Utino Makrina Tieno. I'm the school captain of Bongo Girls. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Old Multi Father for the far he has brought us, even though our way has been bumpy and rocky. Second, I am proud to say that our students are academically disciplined and decorum to be copied by all. Third, I would like to thank the administration for their support to all the students over the years. Fourth, I will not be prudent if I don't mention the principal for her support in ensuring that all her girls are staying in a well-built and equipped learning environment. Lastly, I would credit each and every student for their cooperation in everything we do. Lastly, I would like to end my quote saying that life is a field of preparation that ends with celebration. Otherwise, thank you. My name is Nyalo Albrivian. I'm in Form 3L. I'm the dorm captain of Bongo Girls Secondary School. Our principal has provided for us a better dormitory where students do normally enjoy their sleep. They are not only enjoying their sleep, but they are also hardworking girls. They normally wake up at 4, and at 4.20 they are all in class. In fact, our principal has done better pertaining to Thank you. I'm called Amolo Vivian from Form 3 Yellow. I'm the dining hall prefect in Bongo Girls High School. Matters pertaining to dining hall, our principal has done her best to ensure that we consume nice meals in school. Uh, indeed, we have got some two days that we consider to be our Christmas days in school, mostly on Friday and on Sunday, where on Friday we do consume meat and on Sunday we do consume rice and beans. Our principal has showed for us that indeed she's a loving mom to us by providing for us a uh, nice meal. Even if you go around school, we ensure that the welfare of students is wow to everyone. Not only that, but also in matters pertaining to classwork, we are also doing our best. Remember, wherever we feed ourselves good, we also work hard in class. Otherwise, thank you to all. My name is Hara Kongo Mevin, the game's top 10 in Bongo Girls. So far, our games has been doing well and we have a nice match. Currently, we are the champion during Zone West level and that enables us to represent our team during sub-county championship. Uh, we also participated in games such as netball and volleyball. Otherwise, thank you. Ni wana kidato cha pili manja tuwaletea shairi lenye mada nyiwa kubwa 
Mnatakaje? Naam, nyiwa kubwa, mnatakaje? Makinika, burudika, ketini kitako, tuwatumbuize. Karibuni. Nikiwa mtoto mchanga, wasema wazazi wangu wamebahatika. Nikiwa mkubwa, wauliza nilitoka wapi? Nyiwa kubwa, mnatakaje? Nikiwa nimesoma, wasema mimi zuzu. Nikiwa sijasoma, wasema nikakuzwa na ulimwengu. Nyiwa kubwa, mnatakaje? Nikiwa na pesa, wasema nimeingia Illuminati. Nikiwa sina pesa, wasema, "Hey, ni maskini." Nyiwa kubwa, mnatakaje? Nikiwa nimenona, wasema niko sawa na dawa. Nikiwa nimekona, wasema dawa imenishinda. Nyiwa kubwa, mnatakaje? Nikiwa nimejua vizuri, wasema ninaringa. Nikiwa sijajua vizuri, wasema sina sina. Nyiwa kubwa Mnatakaje? Nikiwa natapika, wasema nina mimba. Nikiwa sitapiki, wauliza nitajifungwa lini. Nyiwa kubwa, mnatakaje? Nikiwa na gari, wasema nina ringa. Nikiwa sina gari, wauliza somo liko wapi. Nyiwa kubwa, mnatakaje? Kume sisi sana tumechanga nyikiwa. Tosha, tosha, tosha. Tumemaliza, tukasafisha, chafua uwana, suwada. Shule ya bongo, ya waletea, shai, lenye mada, naipenda shule yangu. Daraja, moja, moja, tatucha, makinika, burudika, karibu. Shule yangu namba wani, kwa michezo na masomu. Nimesimama jukwani, kusifia niliyomu. Walimu na waponga zedi, kutukimu kimasomu. Hawakosi darasani, kila wakati wa masomu. Naipenda shule yangu, kima somo ya nikimu. Mandari ya kupendeza, kwa ya rangi ya kijani. Miche aina mejaza, hewa nzuri kutupeni. Uwa ninyasi mejaza, vumbi kusafisheni. Niposa ninatangaza, kwa wenyeji na wageni. Naipenda shule yangu, kima somo ya nikimu. Mazomo ni tutajiri, tuangaza wilayani. Kiingia alfajiri, tatukuta vitabuni. Maskini kwa tajiri. Usawa tuwa imizeni, na wapeni hiyo siri, ni wapenzi wa shileni. Na ipenda shile yangu, kima somo ya nikimu. Tamati ni mefikia, utungo kukamilisha. Shule ya kusifia, na wageni kuwapasha. Kima somo wanyenia, chuo tuwa karibisha. Atubagui na jinsia, ukweli ni mefikisha. Na ipenda shule yangu, kima somo ya nikimu. Na bio bio, shabash. In front of you, and for my students, Asha Plaza, to reside, to represent education. Welcome. It was not important in the past, but most important for today and tomorrow. Without education, we live in the past. And that's why it's our right, it's our light, and it's power. Education is admired. It is desired. It's good for the future. And that's why it's our right, it's our light, and it's power. Let our education be time to enable our competition with the mighty. We can fight the competition with education. And that's why it's our right, it's our light, and it's power. Education is better when life is better. Education brings better for fewer better. And that's why it's our right, it's our light, and it's power. Nesha. Always. We love our school because it's the best place to be. 
Oh uh-huh. 